to get back on this 450 motor taking the head off today and tearing it down uh, you got eight nuts on top of here they're 17 millimeter I think and I just uh, use a breaker bar to break them loose and then I'll use the, uh, the gun to zip them out These eight studs are all to hold this head on. I will say that I also removed the camshaft chain. This is a, basically a junk motor it's for parts and it's stuck so I couldn't rotate it. If you can rotate it and get to the master key on the chain, you can take the chain out without cutting it, but I had to cut it, so it's out of our way. I'm going to hit, hit this a couple of times with a dead blow hammer just to knock it loose. Knock the carbon loose from it. And then it should just pull right off. Or I'll hit it a few more times and it'll pull right off. Just like that, get it loose, take it in the shop here and where there's more light. I'm going to start by taking off the cam journal. I'm on the intake side here. Intake side's a little easier than the exhaust side. Uh, there's four screws here and then a, uh, a bolt, excuse me, a nut. I think it's 14 millimeter. In fact, I know it's 14 millimeter. Of course, now I forgot to take the nut off. And I'm just now realizing right here that I've forgotten to take the nut off. So, now we're going to take the nut off. This is the rocker arm shaft. And you can pull these out with it still attached, but it's easier to do without. And I'm going to give it a swift whack, knock it loose. I'm not prying on anything. I'm just tap, tap, tap. Get it loose a little bit, grab onto it, and wiggle it, and it'll come right out. Just like that. This is the rocker arm shaft that I'm pulling out there. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Again, four screws and a 14 millimeter nut Hit it a couple times just to shake the gasket loose, which actually did actually separate it on this one, so I could just run the screwdriver down beside it a little bit, get, get me a gap to grab a hold of. It's coming out crooked, so I pounded it back down a little bit. And there it is. Just looking at the journal there, pull out the rocker arm shaft, and now we can take the cam shaft out 
and you have to you have to hold your tongue a certain way to get these out. Once you've done one, they're usually pretty easy. For some reason, I had trouble with this one, and I gave it a little shake, which doesn't help. But basically, you got to get it all the way to one side, so the lobe is actually against the case, and then you can tilt it and pull it up, just like that. And you can put it back in that way as well. I'll set that down and I'll grab the, there's a rocker arm. I'm just looking at it there. All the ones in this motor happen to be pretty smooth. If they're saddled, throw them away, recycle them. But if they're smooth, they're reusable. They're all going to have wear on them. There's the other side. And what I mean smooth is, is they don't have a dip in them. What these will do, they'll wear a dip into the face of them. And it's pretty obvious which, when you see it. All right, here I'm taking off the torsion bar. Now these things don't, these motors don't have valve springs, they have torsion bars. And it's a two-piece unit with a, or the shaft is a two-piece unit and then it's got a torsion bar on it that you'll see. And the end of it's basically kind of like a dog bone and you can get the screwdriver between the dog bone. There's part of the shaft that I'm pulling out. The other part you can get your hand in there and get a hold of it and kind of push it through and then just kind of wiggle it out. There's a sleeve. And then this is the actual torsion bar. And it's got wear on it, or wear area as well that you want to look at. Make sure it's not uh, worn out. Then I'm just going to do the same thing the other side. show you here where you need to push. That's pretty obvious when you're looking at it. You kind of got to hold the, the torsion bar at, at the same time to get it to line up right to push out. Here's the other tors torsion bar. Looks good. Now we're going to take the uh, keepers out for the valves. There's two 10 millimeter bolts down in here that uh, will take out a little fork. That's part of the keeper, that's down in the bottom. And the other part of the keeper is on top. And it's like two little wedges and a spacer washer thing. And the easiest way I found to do it is to take a brass rod or a brass punch and get on the side of it, not on the valve, but on the side of the valve and just knock it once and it'll, the whole thing will come apart. And then you just take your magnet and you dig out the pieces. There's the collar piece that holds the two wedges together, two keeper wedges. And then dig down in there and there's the two keepers. I already took the other one out. On this side over here, now that valve should actually push right out, but the valve on the uh, exhaust side is actually blocking it from pushing out, so I can't push that one out until we get to the other side. Just making sure there's no other pieces down in there with the magnet. And now we're going to turn it over and I'm going to go ahead and take the, the chain guides off. 
I'm just showing you here how that valve is stuck on the other valve. The other valve stuck out for some reason. Probably because it's in the exhaust stroke. <laughs> Would be my guess. Uh, there's four 10 millimeter bolts here on these guides. And a lot of, or excuse me, five 10 millimeter bolts. A lot of times these things will pull right out. These, they didn't want to pull right out. And I actually have little uh, sleeves in the bolt holes that were sort of pressed into the to the case so or the cylinder head so I had to actually take a pair of vice grips and grab a hold of them and then kind of give them a twist to get them out and once you get them out get them out the uh, the guides will come right out kind of fighting me here You see that guy just let free. And there's half the guide, and you got to do the same thing the other side. There's not a lot of lip on there to get a hold of, so it's kind of difficult. I certainly don't recommend trying to put a screwdriver up underneath there and try to pry it up. You'll... All right, well that's it for part one. In part two we'll take the exhaust side out. And thanks for watching.